Welcome back, everybody. So many of us love jazz music, but very little is known about the man who may have invented it. Now, Buddy Bolden is considered the father of this genre, and now a movie, which was filmed right here in Atlanta, is telling his story. Astrid in the ATL talks to some of the cast members in this film. Highly anticipated, Astrid. Yeah, absolutely, and this musical drama viewers will witness the compelling, powerful, and tragic journey about the unsung American hero who invented jazz. There is little biographical information and no found recording of Buddy's music, so filmmakers had to dig deep to tell this story. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Armstrong. The birth of jazz created a new wave of American musicians, but for years, the founder of jazz was a mystery. So this one's gonna go out to King Buddy Bolden, the first king of New Orleans music. Buddy Bolden is where it all began. The movie Bolden tells this untold story. You don't seem like much a church going man, Mr. Bolden. I will. Bolden reflects a world fueled by passion, greed, and musical genius in early 1900s New Orleans. Don't what I played on this. The movie stars Gary Carr of Downton Abbey as Bolden, who was born in 1877 and died in Louisiana's State Asylum in 1931. It also features the musical talents of New Orleans native and jazz master Wynton Marsalis, who wrote, arranged, and performed music for the movie. The dancing in the film is brought to life with the help of choreographers to the stars, Bubba Carr and Cece Kelly. The music by Wynton Marsalis is just incredible. And when Cece and I got to create to it, um, it just kind of gave us um, this energy in our bodies, you know, that we don't experience these days, mm -hmm. you know, because it's just not that kind of sound. The Atlanta-based choreographers cast the best African-American dancers from across the country. Practice turned into hours, weeks, and months, with many scenes filmed in Grant Park and the Goat Farm in West Midtown. The first scene I shot was in Grant Park, which was the scene where Buddy is being pushed out of this air balloon by his manager um, because he wanted to expose um, Buddy's music to a white audience. It's such a beautiful story about somebody that's really not a lot known about. There's only one photograph known of the band and no known recordings. Get out! With a lot of research, the filmmaker tells this poetic, tragic story about a man who changed everything about American music. And if you want to get to know more about the father of jazz, the film is out in theaters right now. It also stars Yaya DaCosta from Chicago Mad as Bolden's wife and Rena Wilson from Mike and Molly. He plays Louis Armstrong. The director started working on this movie about 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, but then he had to rewrite pieces. He reshot it in 2009, 2010. Then he threw everything out and started filming all over again in Atlanta, New Orleans, and uh, cast it in Charlotte. So this has been a passion project. He had to dig really deep because not a lot of information was known about Buddy. He, uh, the director believes from the you know research that he did that he was schizophrenic. So a lot of the movie is told in flashbacks of yeah. his memory. Sounds like he just like w won't stop till he gets it just right. Yeah, absolutely. Twenty years devoted to this. So and now it's out now. You need to watch. Yeah. Uh, great job, Astrid. Thank you.